Hello and welcome to the Bit Shack. And today I've got a mischievous computer here, some called an SDS Archer. I don't know a lot about it. I think it's from 1985, but that's about all I know about it. So I'm going to take it across my workbench and take it apart and see what we've inside. I'm going to unbox this interesting computer that dates from around 1984 or 1985. But it's not what you might expect from a computer of this period. It's nothing like a Commodore 64 or a Sinclair ZX Spectrum. What it actually is, it's a single board computer that you might find used in an industrial application. You might say it's a great, great grandparent of, of modern day single board computers such as the Beagle board or the Raspberry Pi, or a Pain 64. Now, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is to ask help from you viewers for information on it. I know it's called an Archer single board computer. I know it was made by a company called Sherwood Data Systems, but I can't find any information on it so if you know anything on uh, on this would you please leave me a comment now let's get out and have a look at it so let's move this packing out of the way As we can see, it's called SDS Archer. It's a quite a busy rugged enclosure. It measures roughly, let's get my tape measure. Nine inches or about 23 centimeters by nine inches again, about 23 centimeters. What it has, it has a basic a mains power input. I'm guessing this is an on off switch. And a couple of 25 way D connectors and an LED, which I'm guessing is to show on off. So I'm going to take it apart and have a look, see what's inside. Let's go off the tear down. So let's just flip it over. See what we have on the bottom. Okay, we have four Phillips screws. So let's just start off at one corner. Quickly take them out. That's one. Two. These are coming out quite easy. Three and four. All right, let's just flip it back over. So let's see if can get the lid off. It needs a bit of encouragement. There we go, it's coming off now. There we go. So that took a bit of time. I'll just auto focus this slightly. In fact, I'm going to just move the camera down a bit. So it get better. Focus. Right, not quite 
scrap it. Right, that's focused a little bit better now. Um, let's have a look inside. So what do we have? So on the corner here, we have the name of the company, Sherwood Data Systems Limited. The name of the board, the Archer Issue 2. What else have we got? We've got the mains transformer. That's been supplied by RS Components, which is uh, a very well-known a component a supplier in the UK we have a power supply quick look there yeah that looks to be the 7805 voltage regulator what else we've got we have a Z80 A CPU so that would be being clocked about 4 megahertz that's what we've got we've got a, a ROM 8K, so that's a 2764, 8K EEPROM, it's marked with SDS BAS, so I'm guessing that's the basic interpreter. And we've got three chips here, which look to be SRAM, made by Etoshiba TC5564s, so I'm guessing they're 8K SRAM chips, so that's 1, 2, 3, so that's 24K. If RAM, what else do we have? We have a Z80 a dot, so that is the serial port, so that, that gives us the two serial ports, and we've got two, one, two, Z80 PIOs, which will give us the parallel port, so that's, that's two per chip, so that's four in total. We, see we've got a Nikam battery as well I'm guessing that's for backing up the SRAM the battery doesn't look to have corroded or, or leaked so that's really good news and elsewhere what we've got we've got some pads here marked SW1 SW2 I'm guessing they're for dip switches and a number of connectors which is used to bring out the chip signals. So that's the SDS Archer single board computer. Well, I can't find any documentation online for the SD Archer, I did manage to find some adverts for for it. I found them in the old editions of the British electronics magazine Wireless World starting in 1985 and they continued up till the early 90s. So this is a copy of Wireless World from 1985, the October edition. So if I Go down a couple of pages. See, there's lots of great adverts in this magazine. There we go. SD. S Archer. So I'll zoom this up a bit. So let's so here's the advert for it. The Archer S Z80 SDC and it gives us a, a good description of what we can expect to find inside. It tells us um, comes with basic, a monitor debugger, it's based on a Z80, web-based receivable ports, a, a parallel ports and a counter-typer. 
counter timer chip. So what do I think about the Sherwood Data Systems Archer? Even though it's housed in a plastic case, the case feels busy, feels busy really solid, busy robust. The PCB build quality is excellent. It looks to be well designed. There's no cut PCB tracks or bodge wires to suggest last minute fixes. It has two serial ports and 30 plus IO signals. So it has lots of interfacing uh, potential. So I think it, it definitely feels fit for the purpose for a single board computer from 1984, 85-ish. And I can imagine it got used in all sorts of embedded and control uh, solutions. I mean, if we compare it to a modern day Raspberry Pi, basically, obviously, it, it doesn't have the same processing power, but IO wise, it, it is, it is very similar, but that's what 40 years of progress brings you. If I can find some documentation on the Archer, I'll see if I can get it powered up and run some test programs. Until then, thanks for watching the 8-Bit Shack. If you enjoyed the video, please leave some feedback, a comment or subscribe. Until next time.